morning, everyone. That is a broken, very distraught Joe O'Mara telling us that Big Brother has left her an emotional wreck. It's ruined my life. It really is. Everybody makes mistakes, but just how everybody does to do it on TV. OK, this is what we've got coming up uh, this morning. Well, we've got Joe O'Meara. Uh, Fiona went to meet her last night. She is a bit of a wreck, talking about Joe, of course. Uh, broken, tearful, shaken. And uh, we can't really understand why people don't think it's genuine this morning, can we? I mean, you were there. No, I can't believe some of the texts that are coming in saying she's faking it. There aren't too many of them, Well, to people have out of sympathy, but haven't they? Well, with a lot of people haven't, happened. though. That's the thing. But uh, anyway, she was not faking it. Believe me, she is very, very vulnerable. Indeed. Now, Joe Amara used to be the smiling singer with S Club 7. We enjoyed her very much whenever she came in here. Millions of young girls wanted to grow up to be like her. When uh, Fiona here met her last night, she said her life was in ruins after Celebrity Big Brother. She was due in here this morning, but she is so fragile. She, she just couldn't come in. She can't go home either because of death threats. And, of course, she's been vilified by the public and the press for her behaviour towards the Bollywood actress Shilpa Shetty. She did speak exclusively uh, to me last night. Uh, here's Rachel Harrison's report. A shadow of her former self, the S Club 7 star was unable to hold back the tears. Sorry. Visibly shaken, no, Joe denied no. allegations she was a racist or a bully. I didn't have anything against Shilpa at all. It's just that I probably didn't bond with her as well as I did some others, and it's, it was never anything to do with the fact that she was an Indian woman. The star believes she was the victim of the programme's producers and has said that since leaving the house, life has become unbearable. Have you seen your parents yet? What do they think? Devastated. <laughs> Have you been home yet? Can't go home. Why can't you go home? Because I've got death threats. The star claims she's had no support from the programme makers, but both the show's producers and her management team say that's not the case and that she has been offered medical assistance. The, the house sends you mad, as you can probably see. Yeah. Despite being full of remorse, it's unlikely to be enough to save her career or restore her reputation. We'll have more on that uh, after the news with Penny. Hello again. Well, wow. ten past eight, and uh, at this time, uh, this time yesterday, we thought Joe O'Mara would be sitting on the sofa this morning, um, following her eviction from the Celebrity Big Brother house on Friday. Um, the whole situation has turned into a huge nightmare for Joe, though, and she really is in too vulnerable a state, a state to um, come in here this morning. Um, I saw her last night, and um, she's afraid of mirrors, she's afraid of television, she's afraid of people, she's developed all sorts of phobias. And um, you'll see from this interview that she really is in a very, very distraught state. Joe, I, I have to say, I'm really shocked at the state you're in. You've been rocking back and forth, you're shaking, you just look like a broken woman. How are you feeling three days on? I'm just so shocked. I just feel shocked at the way the public have, like the way I've been seen and perceived, because that's not me. Um, I don't know why they've dug me out as much as people have done, because that's not the person that I am that was shown. But you said those things. You said that Indians are skinny because they don't cook their yeah. food properly. When Shilpa was asking for your help during that huge argument with Jade, you just mm. laughed. Yeah. And after it, you said, it's made my day. Yeah. So all those comments were you, weren't they? Yeah, they were, but everything has been taken completely out of context. I was laughing at the fact that the, the house sends you mad, as you can probably see. Yeah. Um, I was just laughing at the fact that we was arguing over an OXO cube at the end of the day. It's just so silly. So if Shilpa came into the room right now, what would you say to her? I'd give her a big hug. I didn't have anything against Shilpa at all. It's just that I probably didn't bond with her as well as I did some others. And it's, it was never anything to do with the fact that she was an Indian woman. And, you know, things that I've said about her haven't been fairly quoted. I said... 
you know, that I think she's probably one of the most beautiful, most glamorous women that I've ever met, but none of that sort of stuff has ever got across. It's just all the bad stuff all the time. I have to say, I, I was shocked at how you came across in the house. Always smoking, always swearing. It's the way that the programme has been edited, really, because I wasn't in my dressing gown all day long. I was, I was showered, hair washed and dressed by 10, 11 every single morning. You weren't portrayed very well in the Sunday papers, which didn't help matters. There was a very defiant picture of you on the front of the Sunday mirror saying that you refused to apologise and that you'd do it all again if you mm. had the chance. What do you say Everything to that? that I said in that interview was completely misquoted. It really, really was. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Have you seen your parents yet? What do they think? Have you been home yet? Can't go home. Why can't you go home? Because I've got their friends. Has anyone from Big Brother actually tried to help you at all? Not really. What do you think of what they've done to you? I mean, from what I can see, they've left you completely broken. I just feel that... Big Brother had a TV show to make and they have to do what they can to make a good viewing and unfortunately I felt like I was a, a guinea pig or something. I feel like I was just put in a fish tank and it's just, it's ruined my life. It really has. Sorry. I just want to say to everyone that if I did offend anybody in any way, I never ever meant it at all. Do you think you bullied Shilpa? No. I don't think I bullied Shilpa at all. I really, really don't. And I've got feelings and I make mistakes sometimes. Everybody makes mistakes, but just not everybody does to do it on TV. Why did you do it then? Because... I did it to try and save my house. Because <laughs> is it true that the ha your house is in threat of being repossessed. That's all. <laughs> all right, well, listen, we'll leave you, because you, you really do need to go and get some help. It's terrible to see you like this. It really is. Thanks, Joe. Faking that. I mean, some people have said that uh, that she is. There's absolutely no way she's faking that, is there? No. I, mean, I don't know. People's impressions may be different at home. But by the way, her manager has said that she's under the care of the uh, program's uh, psychiatrist. He also said that Joe was a bit unhappy that uh, nobody had debriefed her on what had gone on outside the house when she came out or what to expect. No, uh, they put her in a left. room. Apparently, when she got out of the house, they put her in a room with all the, the headlines that had been accumulated in the time she'd gone mm. in there and just le and, and left her there digesting the headlines. And then she went to the interview with Davina, so there was no preparation for that interview with Davina, and it was the first time she'd seen what had gone on in the house, and it was really, really upsetting to see her like that. I mean, she was rocking back and forth, she was shaking, and uh, a lot of you have been upset seeing the interview this morning. Anne from Derby says, I'm appalled. Jay, Joe and Danielle have been victimised and torn to threads for something petty which happened in a ridiculous reality show. Ashley from Kent says, I've just watched the interview with Joe. I'm disgusted. Big Brother is wrong for what they've done. I don't think neither her nor Jade were being racist. I really feel for the both of them. But then Catherine uh, Middlesbrough says, they deserve to be publicly disgraced. They were a disgrace Yeah, someone else says she Britain. chose to behave the way that she did. She can live with the results. So pretty much split this morning on, uh, on, on what's coming in. But Dr. Hillary's got something to say from a medical and uh, psychological perspective around about 8.30 as well. So it'll be interesting to see what he's got to say. And just to let you know, Jo was not paid for that interview. Despite the fact that uh, her house is about to be repossessed, she was not paid for that interview. 8.16 is the time. We'll see you after this.